Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how I curl my hair. It only takes a couple minutes, literally like less than five minutes. Um, it lasts all day and even the next day. It's a two day curl for me. So tomorrow, I just did this and tomorrow I will have pretty much the same curls. It's like effortless, beachy, messy. It just looks super pretty and natural and not like you're trying like to have curly hair. It's just, it's just so pretty. I, I love it so much. And it takes such a short amount of time and effort and I think it can just really look more special than straight hair. It's really requested for me to do to show you guys, so I'm using the Conair Infinity, which you will see me talk a little bit more about in the video, in the tutorial. Um, so I hope that you like this hair style. If you have any more hair related videos that you would like me to film, like tutorials or question and answer type video or any questions at all about my hair, or anything, just let me know or leave your requests in the comments down below. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you after it. Okay, so you just want to start with clean, fresh hair. Make sure your hair is 100% completely dry. Um, my tool of choice, which I think has a big thing to do with why these curls last for two days, is the Infinity by Conair, which I absolutely recommend and I love it so much. Um, it's just a really great one to use. Um, you can use any other brands, but this is the one that I recommend that really does get my curls to last for two days. So, love it, and I definitely recommend getting it at Bed Bath & Beyond with a 20% off coupon because I think it's $40, and um, it's nice to get the 40 or the 20% off. Um, but I like to take kind of bigger sections um, just because I don't want my hair to get super curly. And then I will do each side on the bottom in three sections. And the main rule to remember when you're curling your hair, no matter what you're using or anything like that, is when you're doing the left side of your head, make sure the iron's in your right hand. When you're doing the right side of your head, make sure the iron is in your left hand. So just remember it's opposites. And you can totally see my bags. I'm so tired right now. Um, Okay, so left side of my head, the iron is in my right hand, and when you're using these clipless irons, you have to remember to point them downwards. If you do it like this, it's not going to work. So you want to put it downwards and behind the strand of your hair, and then you're just going to wrap. And make sure it's nice and flat, don't get it all like twisted. And then you just hold it. And also, see how I'm starting like halfway down my strand of hair? You don't want to go too close to your roots or you're going to have like crazy curly hair and it's not going to look pretty. You just hold it for a second and then let it go. And then I don't um, brush this out or move it in any type of way until I'm done with my whole entire head. Okay, so I have the bottom half of this side done and now I am just going to do this side the same way in three sections. Okay, so now I'm doing my right side, I'm going to hold the iron in my left hand. So that is a very big rule. Put it behind the wand and just wrap it. I know a lot of people have issues with this iron, but if you just do it very slowly, make sure the hair is flat, make sure it's pointing down, your hair shouldn't slip, and you should have really, really nice curls. So... I know when I first started using this iron, for some reason my hair would slip a lot. Um, I think I just wasn't using enough tension as I wrapped. I think it's all about, you know, doing it very cleanly and tight. Make sure you're like holding the hair very tight onto the um, iron. And I use this on the very highest setting, only because I don't like my hair to be on the iron for that long, so I'd rather have it super hot and just kind of like have it sit on there for a second rather than have it on half heat and hold it on for a lot longer. So that is the bottom layer. Now I'm going to take down another section. I do this all in three sections. So that was the very first section. Now I go up just a little bit higher, like right up here. Right there. So I'm kind of leaving just the crown area like for the very last section. So, type that off. Okay, then you just want to brush it out and you're pretty much going to do the same exact thing. I mean, there's really nothing special about this. It's just I do my hair in three layers because of the thickness of it. You could do it in five layers if your hair is super thick. Maybe only two if it's super thin. I don't know. But I, like I said, I could probably get away with doing more layers, but I like to take thicker sections. So my hair is not super thin. It's also not super thick. It's pretty average, I would probably say, maybe even on the thicker side. Um, but I do only three sections because 
I do like it to not be super duper curly. Then when you do the back, what I do is I will just take like the back section and I always brush it over to the left side because it's just easier for me to work with my right hand, with the iron in my right hand, I should say. Um, and I'll just take the whole entire back section, put the wand behind it, smacking me in the head, and just wrap. Just hold it there. And it looks really nice. So then when I do this side, I only have to do like the front section. And then since it's my right side, I'm obviously going to put the iron in my left hand. And just brush it out. And start twisting. And you can see, tell these are pretty thick sections. Um, if you wanted a lot curlier hair, you can do that too. If you want um, even less curls, you can take even bigger sections. Or you can just, what I do, I'll do the same exact sections. I'll do three sections no matter what kind of curls I want. I'll just either take thinner pieces if I want it super curly, which is very rare. But what I normally do, I do it exactly like this. I just hold my hair on for a less amount of time. So if I just want like a natural wave, I'll do exactly what I'm doing right now. But I'll just wrap the hair and then immediately release it. Um, and then I just get kind of like a beachy wave type of head, but I wanted to do just a little bit more curlier kind of style for the sake of this video. Okay, now I'm taking down the last layer, and what I immediately do is I put it, or I part it down the middle, just so I can have like an even section. And it's really crucial, like on the top, if you have shorter layers, kind of like I do, that you don't... Um, put the iron too close to your roots because then your curls are going to be up really high and it doesn't really look good. Okay, so I'm going to start halfway again, left side, right hand. Kind of start like halfway and just wrap it. This way, when you do like the whole left hand, right side type thing, it assures that all of your curls are going to be going away from your face, which is exactly what you want. You don't want the curls to be going in towards your face. And if pieces fall out like that, you can just touch it up later. You just figure out how you want your hair parted and then curl accordingly. Curl accordingly. I usually like to have more hair going out to this side of my head. This also looks really pretty though if you keep your hair parted down the middle. Um, it's very like Kardashian-esque with all the curls and stuff going away from your face. And then this side. hand. And obviously when I'm not like explaining it, it takes me a lot less to do this. I would say five minutes tops. I do it really quickly. And most of the time I do just like kind of like a beachy wave, so I don't hold it on the iron as long. Um, so I literally like wrap and let go. So it probably takes me less than five minutes to do this. And um, it just looks so pretty, especially since I have a lot of dimension in my hair right now with the color. It just looks really pretty. Okay, so this is the finished before I... Do I want this more curled? Of course, if you see a piece that's like not as curled as you want it or whatever, you can curl it again. Um, I don't think I really want the bangs curled more. But okay, it's kind of flat right now to my head because everything is curled. So you can totally spray it if you want to at this point. Um, my favorite hairspray that I would recommend is the Healthy Sexy Hair So Touchable Hairspray. It's very, very lightweight. I like aerosol hairsprays. I just feel like they're kind of more of like a mist as opposed to, you know, spraying onto one section of your hair. I personally never use hairspray when I'm doing my hair like this because I want it to be super flowy. If you have very flat hair, maybe you tease your hair. Um, you could use that like underneath the roots and whatnot. But I have naturally, um, my hair just holds curl for some reason. I don't know what it is. Um, but this is pretty much where the magic happens now. I like to just take my fingers and just do, come out the whole entire curl, everything. And this is really where it gets to be like super, super pretty. And you get that like um, 
kind of like very celebrity-ish looking hair, like tousled curls. And if your hair has a hard time holding curl, let your hair set for like 10 minutes after you curl it. Don't do this so soon, because um, once the heat is like completely out of your hair, it'll set the curls better. But I already know that my hair is going to be, um, it holds the curl like crazy. So, that's kind of what I do. I'll just kind of scrunch it. If your hair looks a little bit um, dull or anything, I love using that Healing Oil Spray by Macadamia Oil. Um, just don't spray any type of oil directly on your hair. I will spray this in my hands, kind of like rub it, and then just kind of like at the ends to give it a little bit, little bit more shine. Never spray it towards your roots because you're going to look like you have dirty hair. And that's not good, especially when your hair is freshly cleaned and curled. Um, so I love oil sprays for shine and stuff. I'm not going to use any just because when I got out of the shower this morning I used the um, healing oil treatment. Which is different than the spray. <laughs> so that's pretty much the finished result. Tousled curl. I think it's super pretty and this is pretty much how I curl my hair every day um, if I'm going to curl it which is a lot of the time just because I like the dimension and stuff. So super easy and tomorrow I can Put a brush through my hair and it will look almost identical to this just a little bit less curly which i actually prefer but um i think it looks super gorgeous so i hope that you guys buy the connie infinity it's super easy to use and highly highly recommend it and yeah this has been a super requested video for me um in my what was it i did a fall loves tag i think that's where the request started coming from in that video i actually just did um smaller sections like when I was taking pieces I just took a lot thinner ones that's how I got more of like the old Hollywood style curls uh, but yeah this is pretty much it I think it looks really pretty and you will get a lot of compliments on your hair so I hope you enjoyed this video and you try it out if you do let me know on Twitter or Facebook um, and let me know what you think in the comments down below um, <laughs> I will talk to you guys very shortly and I hope you have a great day